Hi, this is Ian Mitchell with uh, VTech Communications slash Snowm Americas. I just wanted to quickly show you some of the things that we can do with our uh, Snowm D700 series phones in terms of customization elements. So um, one of the tricks I wanted to show you actually, this might be kind of helpful for anybody that's trying to tinker with this stuff, is um, right from the web UI that we can see here, it's actually possible to always look at the screen of one of the phones. So if you go to the IP address of your phone, and actually just type in screen.bmp, you can see exactly what your phone looks like. Now we can notice right now that um, you know we have some um, elements here. We've got a little bit of uh, a background around where our identity is. We've got a nice custom background that we've put in here. Um, and you can change pretty much all of these settings on the phone itself. If you go into our appearance, we have our nice custom background URL, and we notice that we can actually change a lot of the coloring on the phones, and this is standard RGB values, so, you know, 0000. zero, zero, zero. This fourth number is actually um, a alpha or transparency value. So we can notice, like right now, our background color, we have it set to zero, and that's why when we go to the phone, we can actually see that um, the background shows up very clear. But of course, maybe uh, your background is, um, there's a lot of uh, different color contrast to it and maybe it interferes with some of the text elements. Well, we can actually just go in here and just, uh, you know, change this and make it a little bit more um, desaturated. So if I change it to, let's say, 150 for the alpha value, and then I go look at the screen again, we can see that it's now um, a little bit more desaturated. So if you were to make a phone call, let's say, um, it'll actually show up a little bit clearer when you're looking at your, your number and stuff like that, a little bit easier to read. And this can really help you out, especially if you're uh, maybe have a background again that is a lot more colorful, a lot more different elements to it. So let's say we go in here and actually change our background. And let's say you had something like this. We'll actually change this alpha value back to zero so you can see the full color saturation of it. Okay, now this should show a little bit better. So you can see on this one, um, very busy background. And so if we do make a phone call in this or something like that, um, you know, some of that text elements, um, it might be hard to see, you know, if you're on a phone call. So that's where that um, transparency comes into effect. If we change that alpha value, we actually see that it'll be uh, much easier to read. So if I go back in here, Let's set this actually background color back to, let's even do like 170, let's say. And then we can see when we make our phone call, it'll be much easier to read that text on the phone. Now, another thing that we can do, if you do want to have like a nice colorful logo or background or something like that, but you don't want it to interfere with your text at all, we actually have something called XML idle screen. And what this does is it fully takes over the phone itself. So if the phone is idle, you think of it kind of like a screensaver for your computer. It completely takes over um, all elements and it shows you uh, just what you want it to be. So I can show you what that looks like here. If we go into, um, and you can actually set this per identity. So I can see I'm in identity one, I go to my features. And then way down here at the bottom, we have this XML idle screen URL. So if I take an idle screen that I've already created. We'll just plug it in here. And what we'll see is the phone completely changes to that idle screen. But then the second I pick up the phone, it immediately switches back to the custom background. And this becomes especially apparent if I actually change my background to something else. Because that's the nice thing about this is the um, XML idle screen is completely separate from your custom background. So you can actually have a totally different background. So maybe choose something that's a little bit, um, you know, doesn't interfere with any of the text or anything like that. So we'll plug that in here into our custom background URL. And now what we can see is our idle screen. Again, nice clear background. I lift up the handset, it immediately goes to a background that is much easier to read for text elements and stuff like that. But I could even, you know, I have my little logo that I put on the um, screen itself, so I can still get a logo if I want to. See it at the top, but then I can clearly see um, any text 
during dialing and stuff like that. So to kind of show you how this works, I'll actually walk you through what we do in order to create an XML idle screen. So all of it is, is it's actually just a XML file that you need to host um, somewhere. So I put mine on AWS, put on a local server, something like that. And really, you just need to take any image you want, as long as it is the correct dimensions. So for our D785, that's a 480 by 272 screen. And you just need to take any image you want and convert it using base64 encoding. And I actually found a nice tool for this. So we go to this um, codebeautified.org and then image to base64 converter. And I'll have a link to this and you'll see that I've already uh, done this activity. But if we basically go in here and, um, you know, if, if you look at it uh, by default, let's see if I can clear it out. Okay, so you go to it the first time. You basically have a background that you've already created. You have it at the dimensions. Right. You simply need to find that background. I think it was this one right here. Oh, actually, no, I'd go with this one. So you put the image in. It shows you what the image will look like. It gives you your base64 string. And then you can basically just uh, click and do a control A to copy everything. And then you can go into this XML file. And basically, in between the data, so we've got this uh, you know, screen description, image, and then the data. And then you just paste in that base64 code. And then, of course, at the very end, you'll close the data set the location and because this is going to take over the entire thing your location for x y coordinates will just be zero zero and then zero for the invert close the image close the screen description and it's this file here that you'll actually um, basically save the xml file post it up onto your you know hosting platform of choice or a local server and then at that point again you're simply going into your identity into your features and then right here at the bottom, the XML idle screen, just paste that final location into here. And then um, that's it. At that point, your phone is basically utilizing an XML idle screen, you know, however you want it to look like. So we can see here something else we can do is um, just want to kind of go over um, the colors again. So if we go back into our preferences, um, you know, first we want to make sure that we've removed the XML idle screen, which we have, so we can see what our screen currently looks like here. And if I wanted to change a certain part of uh, the screen to be uh, more visible, to have the text more visible, uh, let's say the title bar background. So in the title bar background, uh, the zero value means that it is completely transparent. And what that the transparency is actually the color that we've selected. So our title bar color is actually supposed to be, uh, you know, 226, 226, 226 for um, the red, blue, green. But because it's full transparency, the custom background is completely showing through. But if I change this to 255, let's say, um, there'll be zero transparency. And what will happen is we'll notice that the title bar color, there will be no background that basically shows up in the um, title bar area. And that's also how I would then be able to change um, the color. So we'll actually do this here. So if I want to change the color itself, I can just pick a different color for the title bar background. So maybe we'll say like 61, 33, 33. And we see by doing that, we've now changed the title bar color. But again, if I actually want the background to show through, because of course I put a logo on mine, I can just set that transparency specifically for the title bar background color. And maybe we'll set it to 160 and see what that looks like. So we can see that it changes like that, it shows through a little bit, but if we wanted to show through entirely, we will actually just change the title bar background all the way to zero. So we've, we've put a color into the title bar, but we basically said that that title bar color is completely transparent. So it really has no color. And then the background fully shows through. And that's where I put in um, my logo element. And again, by utilizing um, a combination 
of uh, changing the uh, alpha transparencies for the different color elements by picking a uh, background that complements the text well, and then also by initiating a XML idle screen. We'll just put back in place here. We can see that you can customize your phone and really have it look however you want. If you want that nice color logo when your phone is just sitting there idle, and then still have a nice custom background for when you're going to make and receive phone calls, um, you can do all of that with the customization options that we do provide to you. So I hope this has been informative and I hope you join us on the next one. Thanks, bye.